Hey guys, it's me, Silly Squirtle Gaming, and today we're going to be dropping in the Slappy Shores 20 times. I usually almost never make two videos a day apart from each other, but it's Christmas and I'm feeling nice, so... Anyways, for game number one, I decided to land the houses. Even though this guy tried to fight me for the scar, I got the gun first, so we died. Also, just gonna say this now, just to clear up some confusion, Maven Shotgun over Thunder. I'm sorry, I just had to say it. I am just now realizing I forgot to mention that Smiley Face Incorporated and Brave A Ninja are playing with me for the first few games, so hot hot hi. I don't know what I just said, but I'm keeping it in the video. In this game, there were quite a few people going to Sloppy Shores, considering it was the second day of the season and everyone was landing here. Inside of this club bar thingy, there's some slurp barrels which you can use to get some extra health if you were low, like I am right now. And some people knew we were here, but tried to reboot anyways. That was a horrible mistake. After brutally slaughtering two people inside of their home, we ended up dancing around the shield keg. New in Chapter 4 are perks, and I'm just gonna say I absolutely love these. There's some great ones to choose from, but I didn't have that many unlocked at this time, so yeah. Some people tried to claim our land, but I said no, but they said yes and killed me. They didn't really care. In Smiley's defense, it was one of her first times using the hammer, but she did die, so like... Just gonna say, I love the weapon choices they made for this chapter, but like, why the DMR? The Hunter Bolt was just so much better. Oh yeah, by the way, I never mentioned this, but there are these flags around the map that you have to claim to get extra loot. When you claim a flag, you automatically see all the enemies and all the chests and everything, so that's really helpful. But it doesn't really matter, because I freaking died. And then Smiley revived oh, me. Oh we then oh, left using the mountain bikes. These are really fun. But the circle was closing in right around Slappy Shores, so we didn't really move that much. Hammer smash! Final circle was around Slappy Shores, and I was doing fine. I may be on 1 HP, but I'm flat. And then Smiley and Brave both clutched the win. Let's go. If you ever go to Slappy Shores, don't go to the giant building on the right. Go to the houses, or else you'll die. And Smiley left midway through the game. Brave had no chance. Game 4 Brave is gone, so now I'm a solo in a solo's world. Actually, I wasn't because I actually didn't know I accidentally queued up into duos, which I didn't realize until I killed this person, then his teammate came along and killed me, and then I got Ebo to die, it was just normal. OMG, Brave A's back. Not for long, though, because he died 5 seconds into the match. The pistol is actually insane, please use it if you ever get one, it's like the best gun in the game right now. And then I rebooted Brave, aren't I such a nice friend? While we were going to the circle, we got involved in a motorcycle fight between two other people. Motorcycle fights are fun, but shooting on them is just... No, I hate that. Oh, wow, we ended up killing them. Nice. And free crowns as well. We then lost the crowns approximately 18.5 seconds later. Game 6, my first gun was a thunder shotgun, so you could already tell it's just not going good. I was just sitting there drinking my big pot until someone freaking blew up the gas station I was hiding in. I then escaped to the one building with the giant octopus head on it. I don't know really what to call it, but I would actually recommend landing here. It's a pretty good spot with decent chests. But do you know what's not decent? Me! Game 7, I got a pretty early kill with the Maven Auto Shotgun. I know earlier in the video I said not to land the building, but it does give a lot of slop juice, which gives 15 health and infinite stamina for about a minute. But I guess infinite stamina wasn't enough for me to run away from my death. <laughs> In game number 9, I wore a spooky beef boss, I'm not really sure why. Third party to fight and killed this bot outside of the houses, and right as I was going to get his loot, there was another guy that just popped out of nowhere. And I didn't even have a shotgun yet, so I just took the hammer and got away. Side note, the hammer is probably one of my favorite things this season. Also, if we're talking about augments, my favorite one is probably the one where you can mark everyone in circle, but I don't have that one yet, as you can see. Anyways, I went back to the houses to fight that guy, and I used my hammer to get above him, and my shotgun to kill him. I then conquered Slappy Shores and left for the first time in a while. Claiming a location gives you some pretty good loot. I'm pretty sure it's the same loot you would get as if you opened a rare chest. Speaking of, I opened one here, and it produced a rocket launcher. But I didn't use my rocket launcher to get this kill, I used my shotgun. As I reloaded my rocket launcher, it turned into a 1 vs 1. And as I shot my rocket, did a bunch of damage, and used my SMG, I won the get. Oh. Oh, I got seconds. Oh, that's embarrassing. After what happened last game, I think wearing this skin was appropriate. Don't know why I used the DMR to kill this person. The red-eyed assault rifle was right there. There were two people fighting on top of a house, and as soon as one died, I killed the other. The voices in my head told me to keep murdering, so I did. 
got four kills inside the Slappy Shores. It was a hot bus. And for the first time, I was actually confident that I could win a game. Look at my loot. The motorcycles are genuinely like one of the best vehicles. They could be a little wonky, but nonetheless, they're really good for like mobility. I was running up to this house, but there was a guy in an NPC waiting for me, so I left with my hammer. Do you remember my favorite augment that I talked about before? Here it is. I just got it. And that guy from before chased me. I didn't think he would, but he died because of it. Final circle, five people left, and now I can see that this guy is right in front of me, and I think he could see me as well. To be honest, I'm not even sure why I rushed the loot. It was very risky, but I did end up getting an extra kill because of it, so profits. I snuck up on this house and shot this guy in the back to turn it into a 1v1. I was on the high ground, and he was on the low ground. This could go either way. I'm not even going to commentate over this. Just watch what happens. That somehow worked. I don't know how, but it did work. So that was my first solo win. Let's go. Game 11, I got some pretty mid-tier loot. I haven't talked about the bows yet, which returned. So yeah. The stink bow, the flame bow, the explosive bow, and the shockwave bow all returned in the new season. And I really do like how you don't have to craft them anymore and just get them on the ground. Because it was very annoying to do that. I made it as far as faulty split before I got shot and scared and ran away. I am somehow traversing a motorbike on water. This is very broken. I then frolicked to Frenzy Field where I fought this bow and I fell. Ha <laughs> ha. Brave A isn't the only special oh, yeah, guest in this video. That. We I also have, have Nathaniel Bandy. I mean, I, I mean Nathan Productions, not, not Nathaniel Bandy. But as you can see, it was a hot bus, so we were probably going to die right away. Yeah. And we did. No. Game 13 was significantly better. We actually got some kills. At the top of Sloppy Shores, there's a soccer court, and I really don't recommend coming yeah. here. It's very open, and there's not much loot, and you could get shot like yeah, I did to these two guys for. here. We stayed in Sloppy Shores for a long time, looted everything, and left with some supreme loot. Like, genuinely, I don't know why they made the perks so overpowered. Like, this one legitimately just gives you a chug cannon. What the fuck? We then hammered to Brutal Bastion and killed the people there. It was easy. Nathan went down and I killed his attackers, but obviously there were some other people and they saw me before I saw them, so I died. We are definitely getting better at conquering Slappy Shores every game. This time, only four people came here and we killed them all. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I just shockwaved him out. You just made me use a chunk of my health. Hey, boys, I don't know what to say. Time to do a kill montage, because those are cool. With 13 kills and a rocket launcher, I was ready to win this game until I accidentally oh, blew myself up. Game 15 kind of just pains me, so now we're in the final circle and it's a 1v1 between Evan and this other dude. But Evan still had a thunder shotgun, and we all know that the Maven is better. Yeah, that would be two second places in a row. I'm not proud of us. In this game, I ended up getting a dub shotgun for my first gun, which is actually pretty good. Like here, I almost died because this guy shot me in the back, but using my dub shotgun, I strategically got out of there. Which allowed me to heal up and kill the guy that shot me. Got quite a few kills this game. Got this guy right here. Bush. 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 Going into the final circle with a snowball launcher, which is actually pretty good to use if anyone's hiding behind trees like this guy. Dude, using a snowball launcher with a hammer from like max sight is actually really, really overpowered. And then I killed this guy, which turned it into a one vs one. The other guy tried to rush me, but I had my purple Maven Auto shotgun, which is clearly better than the Thunder. Which officially means this video has more solo wins than the entirety of Salty Tower's 100 drops. Shame. For game 17, genuinely nothing interesting happened until I got this kill. It was kind of cool, I guess. Anyways, I'm just gonna cut to the top 4 situation when I'm hiding at the bottom of the Citratel. I don't know why I didn't stay hidden. Instead, I tried to go for this guy, which ended me in a respectable 4th place. I could take that. In game 18, the first thing I did was make a banana smoothie. 
If I was wearing Jonesy, that joke would have made more sense. Nobody cares, it's just a YouTube video. And since this is a YouTube video, I have to move on with it. So I ended up dying. Whoa, guys, game 19 is so epic and cool because we have Blue Tone rarely used three in the game. Looks like he's not gonna get any screen time, though, because he died in the first three seconds. I checked, like, four reboot vans, and all of them were contested with people, so I had to run away very far. I think he chased us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, guys! I then rebooted commonly wasted yeah, three because I am a good friend. And then we literally saw nobody else for the rest of the game, so I'm just gonna... Cut to where Rarely dies because he decided to rush a team. What? Get in the bush! Get in the bush! You're safer in the bush! What do you hear? Bush. Bush. I really hope it doesn't turn into a two versus one. Fuck, it's a two versus one. Yes, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Like you can see here. But you don't need to do that because you're gonna win! Yeah. yeah, let's go! Yeah! Oh, I don't know how I won that! Oh my god! Silly squad. I games. guarantee I'll be back in the lobby after like five minutes. Nah, you got this. It just went lol. <laughs> uh, good idea, okay, good idea, I'll do that. I indeed did not win that game. If you want to see more 20 drops content, check out my Arena 20 drops, which I uploaded yesterday. See you next time, Squirtle on!